Hey there, if you've been suffering with excessive hand sweating for any length of time, you've probably been asking yourself, you know, why are my hands sweaty? So today I'm going to address that. Um, plus, you know, a bunch of other frequently asked questions about hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating in general. So first off, don't panic. <laughs> you might not have to get surgery to fix your sweating problem. There are plenty of home remedies you can try. Um, and you know you can modify your diet as well to help out and uh, it you know knowledge is where the solution starts so the first thing you need to do is learn about hyperhidrosis the condition that causes excessive sweating so here I'm going to give you some insight into that now first and foremost why are your hands sweaty well hyperhidrosis is a medical condition uh, which affects nearly three percent of the world's population and some people also experience excessive sweating on their face, underarms, uh, feet, torso. The exact cause of hyperhidrosis isn't known, although a lot of medical experts believe that it's somehow related to an overactive sympathetic nervous system, which causes the sweat glands to produce more sweat than they should. Your sympathetic nervous system triggers your sweat glands to shoot out sweat from the pores, and uh, that's what the problem is. So what are some other causes of sweating hands? Well, sometimes overactive sweat glands are triggered by other diseases or medical conditions. Now, I don't want to worry you here. I'm just listening, listing some secondary hyperhidrosis causes. So your hands might sweat due to any number of these conditions, which include obesity, gout, uh, tumor, diabetes, hyperthyroidism, poor diet, alcoholism, caffeine addictions, uh, poor dieting, or you know, uh, medicine side effects. Uh, so some of the symptoms are obviously sweat is coming out of your hands, even in cool temperatures. People with palmar hyperhidrosis or hand hyperhidrosis often feel nervous out in public because they're afraid of breaking into a sweat, and they feel anxiety over meeting someone because they dread having to shake their hand. So everyday tasks like typing on a computer, you know, just moving a computer mouse, playing a musical instrument, or writing become difficult because your hands are so wet, sweaty, and uh, slippery. So how can you get help for your sweaty hands? Well, your first step, first and foremost, I tell everyone this, is make an appointment with a dermatologist and see if the cause can be determined. Because you need to know whether you have true hyperhidrosis due to a hyperactive sympathetic nervous system or secondary hyperhidrosis due to another cause. If you do truly have hyperhidrosis, your doctor will inform you of your treatment options. And he, he or she may recommend injections or even surgery. I'm here to tell you there are natural solutions you can try first to mitigate the problem. So if you don't want to go to an extreme solution, you can start treating the problem yourself right now at home. Um, if you have secondary hyperhidrosis, uh, it'll be even easier. Um, the only thing you, uh, you shouldn't do is stop taking medications, you know, if you need to for any conditions. And obviously speak to your doctor before trying out any natural solutions that I'm going to recommend to you. So the basics that you should start with are eating a healthy diet, um, you know, drinking a lot of water, cutting out the caffeine and the spicy foods, and try to exercise just to keep yourself in shape. Um, next, you can try a stronger antiperspirant designed to use on the hands. And um, I recommend using an antiperspirant that's high in aluminum chloride, which is the active sweat blocking ingredient. You'd want to try a, a deodorant like Dry Sol or Certain Dry. Both of those, both of those deodorants should be available in your local drugstore. So home remedies, um, which I recommend, are sage tea, which contains tannic acid, a natural astringent. Um, what you can do is you can put a bunch of sage tea bags in a, a shallow bowl, and um, put water in you know to create a, a tea solution and you soak your hands in it for about 15 to 20 minutes and the sage tea it's going to um, like penetrate through the pores and actually dry out your hands to prevent the sweating uh, green tea is really good uh, to drink every day it'll get rid of the toxins in your body and having excess toxins can definitely trigger you to sweat more I recommend drinking two glasses of tomato juice a day tomato juice can also prevent sweating so that's a good natural remedy as well and, you know, the next time you're asking yourself, why are my hands sweaty, uh, don't just think about it. Take action. Um, you know, you can rub cornstarch between your palms for a few minutes. That works well. 
Um, rub astragalus all over your hands. That's a, a natural herb. Apple cider vinegar works really well um, for your underarms, um, but you can also try it on your hands. Uh, that may work as well to dry out your hands. Aloe vera, excuse me, aloe vera can condition your palms as well to be drier. And um, you know, I have 12 other stop sweating strategies. A lot of times, people will write me and say, "Hey." why don't you just give us all of your stop sweating strategies in one YouTube video and be done with it and the fact is that would be a very long video um, this particular video sweat free tactics the one that you're gonna get at prevent-sweating.com for free contains uh, I would say the meat and potatoes of my regiment for um, permanently controlling the excessive sweating and uh, it works wonderful for hand sweating so definitely go to prevent-sweating.com get the free video with 12 awesome sw stop sweating strategies on how to control your hand sweating it's about 45 minutes long and you're gonna love it uh, but remember taking action is the key after you watch the video you have to go through the motions and try out the treatments that's the only way you're gonna get results take care best of luck bye